Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Little Big Workshop. We are definitely going to do some expansion today. We have a bunch of metal working I think we can expand out into our new workshop area. So maybe we should give this a pause before we do anything. Okay, so what do we even have? We have two of these forges, foundries, one press, one plasma cutter. I think the plasma cutter was the thing slowing us down. Saw, metal bender. It looks like we only have like one of everything. So maybe we want to duplicate a lot of this. And maybe we, we just want to move everything over. Is that a possibility? Or yeah, maybe we just move all this back here, make this metal working. Maybe we make this storage. That could be a good thing, right? Make this storage, make this. Maybe, yeah, we just make this like deliveries or receiving and then make this whole room storage with a whole bunch of shelving units. I think we could do that. So let's move this stuff. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I really wish you could like pre-move things without it actually moving in the first place. Like I wish I could kind of get a feel for where everything went instead of having just to do it right off the bat. That would be nice. Okay, so can we duplicate this? I thought there's a way to duplicate easily. Let's see, let's see, machinery. I don't think we can. I think we can only duplicate by when we're actually buying. I think I'm thinking of auto knots where there's duplication. And this fit here. Ah, see like that. I didn't I didn't space it right, so that's messed up. Do we need two sheet machines, really? I don't know if we do. You know what, let's just buy it, sure. We'll buy that. I think we need another, probably another bender and a plasma cutter. Let's see, let's do a, I guess back there we could put like a plant or something. Let's see, a bender. There we go, and a plasma cutter. We'll move this. And we'll get one more plasma cutter. I guess down here it shows me everything I have, so I don't even know why I was trying to manually count everything. There we go, two plasma cutters. Although it doesn't show it until I actually buy them. Let's just order that, and I think we'll be good for now, because otherwise I'm gonna run out of money. Let's see, what kind of billboards do I got? So that's the foundry, that's, eh. Okay, let's move these. Let's have these be right by the doors. Sure, right there. And then we'll move the other one right next to it. And then we'll move the billboard right next to that. Beautiful. Now let's move, what is this, the form press? How about we move you? I guess just back here, right? Okay, let's leave a little bit space for a billboard for the two plasma cutters. And I guess we'll make you over here for the plasma cutters. So that takes care of that. What is this machine? Brace of saw. I don't know if we've got much use out of that. Let's space this out. So that's four. So that's two, three, four. That would be a billboard for it. So then right there, just for future expansion, this is an injection press. So this is plastics. That's robotics, metalworking station. We could definitely use that over here. And what else? I guess we move. You know what? Let's just go with this and See how everything's laid out once we get this all moved over. All right, everyone, move things. Go for it. Okay, there we go. We got things moved. So that is for the metalworking station. I think we can just put it. So that's another four, three, four. And that would go right there. Welding station, ooh, we probably would want a second one of this sooner or later. You know, we could put it, we'll put it on this back wall. 
And then this one does nothing, so you are going to be for the plasma cutters, I would say. Actually, no, you will be for... I guess you could be there and be for these metal benders. And then these are just robots and then plastics, I believe. Those are those two. That should be good. Let's get a build going, shall we? What do we actually need to work towards? Maybe I should be focusing on that for our achievements, our milestones. 10 specialists, so that we just do over time. Simultaneously saturate the market for two medium or advanced products. So I guess that means we saturate. I'm guessing that means we just build so many that we just kill demand. Like if we fulfill 56 of these units. Holy crap, 2700 for this drawer? That might not be too bad. That's going to be a lot of cutting, but it might not be terrible to do. Let's plan this. What can we get? So that's... Oh, this is already made. Did I? I think I made this already once. Yeah, I did. I remember it being this ugly, like, particle board drawer for some reason. But some reason it's stylish. Not too sure why. Alrighty, I guess we'll just go with this. And let's make... How many can we make? 60. Oh. Should we make 60? Say we make 60. 60 it is and let's see we're doing i thought we had metal in here at some point wow did we really not have metal let me see we have to have metal somewhere is this why we don't have metal because it doesn't give us enough style points really no i guess so that metal handle is three to five, and that is not enough. So that's why we went with the wood handle, because it's six to nine. Wow. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, but that that amount of bending, that is going to royally, royally, royally screw us. And I don't know if we can store 60 shelves or drawer units right now. So maybe let's do... Let's do like... 30 cut everything in half i think that'll be good still don't know what this is import to auto import to alpha i don't know what that is so let's select everything do i have to select these it doesn't look like i do i cannot execute link workstation oh duh gotta link the workstations that's for that for that bending is always the hold up we might want a third or even a fourth bending machine just because there's always so many operations with that i kind of wish this told me what was already linked because it doesn't look like it does like i wish these things blinked if it didn't have anything currently being assigned to it okay that's all set so what am I missing here? Okay, so that's set, that's set, that's set, 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 set. Okay, these are all set. Why can't I make this? Execute. You're lacking the cash. What? Materials, 22,000? Oh, it's going to be a huge payoff, though. So let's just do what we can. I want to leave a little bit left just so that I have money to burn through while we're making these. I think 15 should be good. That'll give us about a $3,000 burn. Oh, salaries are going to cost 6000 Okay, let's do 10000 So that should work. Or two, we'll do 10 of them, I mean. All right, let's execute that. And then let's do our thing of splitting everything up. So we're just cutting wood planks, that's fine. Handles. I think this is the part we wanna break up as well as this part. 
We want to start making drawers, but we also want to start making actual drawers when we can. So let's break this up. We'll split. Split. So what was it? We want to script and split into groups of five because that's how they're sent out to the workstations. So we can split it into groups of five. There we go. 10 and then five. And then now we can just intermix all these. Really wish there's an easier way to intermix all these. Okay, almost there. I think we're almost there. I can't even tell. This window needs to be longer. Ooh. Got quite a bit to still go. And a little bit more. Oops. There we go. That's about as even we're gonna get. So they're gonna make like five of each as they go along. Unfortunately, it already like doles out some stuff, so there's no way to really stop this. I guess I could send this to one of the other stations so it gets rid of it, but I don't know if there's a point to doing that. Let's see, so that's just gonna cut wood. Wood rods, okay. Wood planks, wood planks. Wood rods, wood planks. Wait, what's the difference between these and these? I honestly don't know. 15 of those, but 40 of those. These are exactly the same. 15, 15, 15, 5, 5. That's 25 and then 40. Why did it break it up like that? I guess different parts in the blueprint plan, probably. So if anything, we want to send... Split this in half, maybe send this to the bottom. Split this in half, send that to the bottom. Again, just so we can kind of get things evenly distributed as much as possible. Let's put that. Let's put that again. All right, down to five, you go to the bottom. 10, you go to the bottom. You know what, that's probably good enough, I'm gonna say. We'll just leave it at that. I think the rest is pretty solid. Oh, we gotta do the actual assembly. No, assembly should be fine. It's just gonna make all the drawers and then we're gonna pop together the actual drawer unit itself. So let's just go for it. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 affected area. Didn't even notice. Ooh, this is gonna be easy five grand right here. Actually love when this one happens. So easy to get rid of and so easy to get five grand. Assuming we get our little mold machine. There we go. Beautiful. Wait, what? Oh no, there's mold over here. We let it go too long. Go, 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 take it over, take it over. All right, that should be good. Aha, five grand, all right. All right, all right. All right, and then I think we can just move. Let's just move these things as well. Uh, are you sure that could go there? And I think this is the foam injection machine. Sure. I'll go right there. Injection press. Where are you going? I kind of need, like, maybe just things in the middle? Alright, and then I think what we'll do, we'll move this. Sure, arcade right in the, right, right in the center of the shop floor. Why not? Along with a lounge. You know, nothing like being in a hot, sweaty shop with Molten steel flying around and, you know, you just lounging playing some arcade games. Always a good time. All right, so all this is going to move. And then we will use this. And we will resize this. And confirm. There we go. 
nice big area for storage. So they are going to do a little bit of walking to go get the materials into the metalworking sh shop portion of the factory, but don't think it'll be a big deal in the long run. All right, so why? Seriously, why is everyone on break and no one's working? Is this really because of my specialist? Do I need to hire more people? I have four people. Can I see what they're doing? Where are you? You're on break. You're on break. You're on break. You're not even on break. You're just doing nothing. Okay, you're cutting. That's fine. Why is no one bending or doing anything else? Hello? Oh, we need the rods. That's why. That's why. All right, let's get more workers. I think we need more workers. Let's get two more. Two more workers. And actually, let's get... Since we're going to do that, let's make these wood workers. There you go. As we... I think that's a good plan. As we get two more general workers, we can add specialists to replace them. There we go. Specialists should help out. Are we ahead of the curve here or not? I actually don't know what this line is because we're just fulfilling a general order. We're not doing a challenge. I guess maybe this is the estimated time for that to complete. I still, I still don't know why no one's working. Why is no one cutting? Here, people repair these things. Do something. All right, please, for the love of God, someone do something. There you go. Now you're bending. Now you're gluing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do wish there was a way to assign workers to these. Requires a wood specialist to... Oh! That is why. We need specialists for some of these machines. Is that the same for the metal? No. It's not the same for the metal. Wait, why did we need a... We only need a specialist for the table saw? Maybe it's because it's advanced table saw? But that could explain why people weren't working on that. Oh, advanced milling station. Oh, so advanced machines need the specialist. And since we only had two, if they were on break, nothing was getting cut. So it is a good thing that we updated our specialists. All right. So do we have any advanced metalworking machines? I don't think we do. Maybe while we're doing that, how about we work on some metal project? Uh, barbecue wagon. It's going up in price, but I don't know what this grillness. What is what? What is grillness? Uh, let's do. We could probably do a chair. No, let's do a chair. There you go. Let's plan this out because we're not using the sewing station either. So I don't think any of this will really overlap woodworking. Let's do, let's try to keep everything in the metal if we can. Okay, so we need comfort. So chair back. Ooh, what is that? Oh, just plastics. Get it. I think all these are going to be plastics. Yeah, they're all pretty much plastics, so. Oh, uh, chair back B. 514. Ooh, that is not enough. How about that one? And then we go with plastic pellets. So this is just color. Oh, that's disgusting. That's a nasty color. It's fabric. Color fabric we want. How about a nice green chair? Um, let's change. Can I change this recipe? I can't. Why can't I change this chair seat? What? Oh, here we go. So let's see. We need more style, a little bit more strength. So we pick this one, two and five. So what if we do four and four? We might be able to get there. I 
think we can get there if we go with oh we need way more style all right all right all right all right style nine to eleven seven to nine seven to nine probably better because then that way we can just barely increase this one i think how about six to eight nope that's not going to be in high enough range seven to nine Nope, still not high enough. What? Here, let's just do that. Can I change this metal? Ooh, one more point. One more point. What can I change? Don't want to change this metal. I feel like that costs a little bit too much. Can't change anything with this frame. Wow, we really can't change anything. All right, so it all comes down to the cushion and then... The type of foot. Okay, we can we can probably do this. We can sacrifice a little bit of strength. There we go. Nope, not that much strength. Ooh, definitely not that much strength. Okay. New material, new material. Ooh, there we go. Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. Nearly perfect. All right, all right. Here we go. Now we can get some metal working going. Hopefully plastics isn't too big of an issue. Ooh, I forgot everything is kind of relying on the same assembly stations. Should I really split that up? Maybe I should. Like different assembly stations for woodworking versus metal working. I kind of want to, but at the same time, it's not very often that I am doing two different recipes at once. I probably should. It's probably way more efficient, but I feel like I'm not doing it all that often. Oh, wow. These are cheap materials. Let's make 20. I think 20 should be good. Execute that, and then let's pause it real quick because I know I have to... Separate this out. Send that there. And I guess, yeah, chairs are just going to have to wait. We will do the thing still of, we will break all this up into groups of five. So that way we'll make five chair foots, then we'll make five assemblies, and then we'll make five chairs. So that way they're not getting held up, waiting for each individual part to finish as a whole. So then what we do is we throw, oops, I did not mean to do that. Is there a way to combine these? Nope. Oh boy. All right. So let's throw this down, throw that down, that, that, that. There we go. We got five chairs there. Five there. Five there. Throw the three and the two down. Ooh, split this one. Chair foot, chair assembly, five chairs. And then assembly. Wait, what? Something's not right here. Oh, here we go. Chair foot, lower assembly. Chair foot, lower assembly, five chairs. Chair foot, lower assembly, five chairs. Oh, 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 this is messed up. Oh, crap. Chair foot, lower assembly, five chairs. Chair foot. Lower assembly, fire chair. There we go. There we go. There we go. That should be good. That should be good. Now get to work. And this should be really useful over here. Have a ton of room for materials. And if anything, I probably want to expand this wall out just so I have a little bit more room for deliveries. Or is it pickups? I guess it'd be pickups at that point. It's deliveries out from me, but a truck is coming to pick them up. I don't know how to refer to it. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, I didn't get to read it. What's everyone doing? Wait, what is this? What is that? Chair frame. We're just waiting? What? I thought I heard something on fire. Oh, it was probably just the... Yeah, it's the 
foundry. That's what it is. All right, go. These look like poker chips. Or giant, giant Tylenol. Or like ibuprofen. Don't take them. You'll die. What is this? This is a cushion? All right, they're storing things in weird spots. I could probably get rid of this area. It's probably a good idea if I get rid of this area. Remove zone. There you go. What is this? Close to bankruptcy. Don't worry, not. Nah. We got time. Assuming our woodworkers do things. Get off your lazy butts. Go cut. Like, I really wish I could have our wood specialist only work on this for now. And have just the general guys come and do the, like, gluing and things like that. But it doesn't look like I can assign people like that. Eh. That's not good. We might go bankrupt. I need to be able to deliver something. What is this? Oh, the market refreshed. Got a new challenge. Hey, a big old chair. That sucks. We probably could have made that instead. All right, we're at least going to make all the parts. We're at least, at least going to make all the parts to the chairs, and then we'll make that at the end. How many drawers do I have? Where are the drawers at? Do we even have any drawers made yet? I can't tell. What are drawers? Oh, yeah, we do have some drawers. So let's do this. Let's, let's split this up. Let's make five more drawers, and then we'll try to knock out some actual drawer units. And then let's drag these back up. Can I drag this up? I thought I could drag these around. Oh, I can. There you go. Got to click over there. There we go. And then these drawer units right up here. There we go. All right, guys. Get to work. Please. Someone make drawers. Are any of these actually making the big drawers? What are they waiting for? Wood board. Okay, where is wood board? Wood plank, wood plank. Wood board. They're waiting on planks. Isn't that what we're doing? We're just cutting planks like crazy. Oh, we need to we need to cut these, the eight. Oh no. Here. Move that over there. Move this over there. That should go to eight. There we go. Oh no, we're gonna go bankrupt. Oh come on. Get off of break and cut some wood. There you go. There you go. There's a drawer. Oh my god, stop making drawers. Please stop making drawers. Oh, here we go. We got a tall, tall, tall drawer there. Yes. <gasps> we got one. We need to deliver this. We actually just need to straight up deliver this. How do I? How do I deliver this? Here, deliver that. We need that two grand. <laughs> oh my god. Get rid of it. Oh my god. How close are we? We are super close. Oh. Saved us. Barely saved this. Good news is our two break rooms are happily keeping all of our employees well rested. No issues there. As I say, that's probably just going to drop to like zero and they'll all start passing out. All right, we're getting some drawers made. Perfect. That's what I like to see. So I think the holdup was this. We weren't making the 8DM. I don't even know what that stands for. I guess it's like the width of it. We weren't making enough of those, so they weren't being able to make the actual, I think, the sides of the drawers. But yeah, now that we're making those, everything seems to be kind of coming together. We're actually getting drawer units made. Look at that. We got three more. Three more ready to sell. A lot of idle machines. I guess maybe we just need to keep getting more workers. Maybe we're just like having to expand can i hire workers out money yeah 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 gotta spend money to make money don't you know 
I can sell five more cabinets or drawers. All right, let's try to finish these. We only need four more. So we're actually not that bad. We're not terribly far off from getting these. So what do we have left to cut? We don't have all that much left to cut. Or to glue together. Nothing to bend. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. Probably gonna have to sell things. And by sell things, I just mean sell these drawers. Whatever we have. Hopefully the truck gets here in time. Oh my god, load it, load it, load it. Uh-oh. Oh my god, go, go, go. Oh, oh, that was close. We were like $100 off from going bankrupt again. All right, we're good. We're good. Four more. I like how I like expanded the metalworking shop and the first thing I did was decide to make wooden drawers. I guess I am going for the milestone, so I guess that's more my focus than using our brand new metalworking station. I can't believe we're almost bankrupt on the drawers again. I also can't believe we have like an arcade right in the middle of the metalworking shop and a giant gumball machine. Oh my god. I just realized how big this is. In relation even to this arcade machine. This is like a six foot tall gumball machine. Holy crap. Oh, at least we're getting some drawers and things like that done. Got everyone run around. Ooh, one more drawer. One more drawer. Making drawers and chairs. Or like Ashley Furniture over here. Or Bob's Discount Furniture. Is that a local thing? Maybe that's local to me. What else is there? Ashley Furniture. I know Turk Furniture. Where else do you buy furniture these days? Art Van Furniture. Except for we're just making like the shitty particle board shelves and cabinets and these weird pink and metal chairs that no one would probably want. Ooh, here we go. Let's deliver these. There we go. Those actually brought a lot of money. Those were nice. Those are really nice. And now we just have chairs to work on. So what's even the holdup with the chairs? Metal. We're waiting on these. Metal rods. I feel like something's broke. Okay, plastics. Okay, everything's functioning. I think we were just waiting on assembly, honestly. Yeah. Cool. I think we have most of the parts ready just for to put these chairs together. I mean, yeah, there's still plastics here, so not quite, not quite. But yeah, it looks like they're starting to assemble a lot of the chair parts. But I think we will finish up the chairs on the next episode. Seemed like a good little catch up. We got to move everything for the wood or the metal working station. I'll probably try to expand this a little bit more. We do need another billboard for these machines. And then let's try to saturate the market. I think we should keep trying to go for these those cabinet drawers we were just making. I'll probably have to hire more workers just to make sure I'm not almost going bankrupt because we need more specialists to operate these advanced table saws. But I think if we can do that, we can probably start knocking out that milestone to saturate the market but until then take it easy everyone <laughs>